I got a fever. And the prescription is more short rhythm based mini games. Okay, there was more of a ring to it when Walken said it, but the effect is the same. Music is awesome. Following on the success of Cult Hit Rhythm Heaven for the DS, this offbeat, absurd collection of strangeness continues shifting the paradigm of music gaming away from rigidly following a score or chart, away from poking glowing things while guys with bad haircuts dance, away from some kid with an alien robot dog grabbing a guitar and tracing a line to kill a large man in a bee suit. No, we're going to golf. To music. Because it's more fantastical. If you've already played Rhythm Heaven on the DS, you'll recognize this as the same song, different verse. From the brain trust of Japanese idol pop mastermind Sunku and WarioWare creator Yoshio Sakamoto come 50 new... experiences, for lack of a better word. You might be interviewing a wrestler. You might be screwing heads onto robots. You might be orchestrating a series of monkey high fives as he clings to the hand of a clock. You might be protecting some weasels from oncoming sports equipment, leading me to wonder what the hell's going on off screen. They're all strange, but their premises are simple. You only have to worry about one or two different actions and one or two different buttons on the Wii Remote. All the rest is timing. Fortunately, the timing is aided by the inclusion of some awesome musical selections, fair visual cues, and a skippable tutorial before each rudiment. That said, it's no walk in the park. You might find yourself dealing with perspective shifts, diminishing your ability to use your eyes and putting the onus on your ears, or maybe some cheeky monkey just decides he wants to pilot a frickin' hot air balloon in the immediate vicinity of the wristwatch on which a number of other monkeys are high-fiving. A hot air balloon. Who does he think he is? Charles Nelson Riley? Just like its predecessor, after every four stages is a remix challenge that smash cuts between the previous rudiments, keeping you on your toes and making sure you're ready for anything. The interface is pretty much the same, save for some costume changes and whatnot, so it's not like you're left completely stranded. But to swing wildly from monkeys chucking golf balls to robot assembly to bouncing around on a seesaw can be kind of jarring. While each challenge is in progress, you've got no UI on screen whatsoever. This level of simplicity harkens directly back to the WarioWare style of action over data. Outside, though, your menu screen includes the now iconic cafe area where you can engage in idle banter with the barista, listen to tracks you've unlocked, or read supplemental data. These latter two are made available by completing perfect challenges, which are offered occasionally on any song for which you've already received a superb rating and medal. These medals, in turn, unlock special endless challenges as well as smaller rhythm toy diversions. It's a diverse lineup of absurdity, and a little more playable in this version, as the sometimes questionable DS tap and flick mechanics are replaced by simple, responsive button presses. So before Walken comes storming back into the booth to jaw at Will Ferrell in that weird stilted tone of his, just obtain Rhythm Heaven Fever. Now with 45% more cow but I mean... Monkeys. Monkeys. <laughs> 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 